Hi everyone. So we're going to do a short video today on the ChargePoint Home uh, EVSE. It's a level two electric car charger um, from ChargePoint. We looked over all over um, the internet, and there's not a lot of videos on the ChargePoint Home um, charger. So I decided, well, let me come out here and do a quick video of mine. Um, this is my second uh, level 2 EVSE that I've owned. My first one was a blink one, uh, which was made by Ecotality years ago um, when I had my first Nissan Leaf. Um, since I got rid of that car, my other car, I needed to buy another one. Um, this is a 16 amp max charger, so you need at least a 20 amp. Um, 220 240 volt breaker it is internet connected um, it doesn't have to be internet connected but it makes it a lot easier you can monitor it um, start remotely start and stop it from your uh, your phone and app um, or the website it's nice and uh, nice and compact small it looks kind of big there but um, Originally, I had this whole board put up here because the Blink unit was really big um, up there years ago. I don't have any pictures of it right now, but if I find one, I will uh, put it in there. So the board's stayed up there, and this little guy is nice and nice and small there. So um, let's go over it real quick. See, the unit itself is uh, nice and small. You've got two LEDs right here. You've got a ring around the top there inside the holder there's nothing there it's just a just a plastic piece that holds your uh, J1772 adapter and then you've got um, obviously your cord there this is a plug-in unit so yeah it uses a 620 receptacle and here's your uh, 620p plug so this is only rated at a maximum of uh, 20 amps. So as you plug it in, you'll see it goes through a series of um, blinking lights here as it boots up. Your Wi-Fi lights on the top, and then here's your fault light on this side. And the good thing about these LEDs here is it tells you what the charger is doing. Since there is nothing else on this box, it tells you what it's doing. There's no on off buttons, there's nothing. So if it's not connected to the internet, you will see a white ring up here, meaning it's good to go. Uh, a red ring always means there's a fault. Um, and if there is a, you'll see it go back to a green ring, meaning it's good to go. If it pulsates like the yellow ring's doing right now, means it's going to, um, it's set up on a schedule. I've got Dominion Power, so it's set up on a Dominion power schedule only charges my car or anything it's plugged into from 1 a.m. to um, 6 a.m., which breaks down to around five and a half to six cents uh, per kilowatt hour. So my uh, 2013 Nissan Leaf would only take about um, 40 cents to uh, 60 cents per night to charge. So right now you see it pulsating green, meaning that it's ready to charge, but um, it is on a uh, a delayed schedule or plan. So the next thing I want to show you is um, is down here at the bottom. So you've got your your plug right here goes in the one side, and on this side out, you've got your charging handle. This unit here I bought off of Amazon. Uh, it was 300 and um, just the unit here, um, not the charge handle. So it, there's a couple different spots on there. Um, when you look to buy these things, you can buy the unit. It comes in a 16 amp or 32 amp variant um, with a 12 foot or a, I believe it's an 18 foot cord. I bought the 12 foot cord. Uh, the 12 foot cord here, is, is very easy to install. Anybody can install this. Um, that was um, 126 bucks just for the cord, but I bought it used off of Amazon Marketplace. The unit itself was 
three hundred and I believe sixty dollars, brand new. Um, so also with this, you can you can wrap your cord around the top to keep it out of the way. Um, but I want to show you behind here. So I'm gonna take my charge handle, take it off, sit it out of the way here. Um, to pop this cover off, there would be two little set screws. One right here and one right there. I don't have those on there because I didn't want them on there. So this piece of plastic comes off very nicely. It, it's, it's glossy so it could scratch. So I'll put that up here on my shelf. And then to get inside here it's very easy. You can use a, a, um, a quarter or whatever you like to get inside of it. What I'm going to use is got something up here on my shelf that I can I'll just use the edge of this, this screw real quick. It's very easy to pop these things off. Okay, so I just unplugged it there, and there's a little tab here which makes you pull it off. So inside here, a lot of you are wondering, well, how easy is it to hook up? Well, here's your power cable. It goes right up here. There's a cable clip which you can pull off, and look, they're color-coded. There's black, there's green, and there's white. You see it's yellow and green. There's only one cable, so... Um, this is only three wire, so two hots and a, and a ground. And every year here is your um, your charging handle. So this one, it's very easy. It's color coded. Your green, your white, your black, which it, it already comes with this piece of cable in here. Um, it's like a holder, so that already comes on there. And then your blue is your um, is a four wire, so this wire talks to the vehicle. Tells it when it's plugged in and all that good stuff. So it's real easy. You just you basically just flip these things, and after you shove it up in there, you take this cable and just push it down and clip it, and it's that easy. So I did say this was a plugged-in version. Um, the difference between the plugged-in and the hardwired version would be this cable clip would not be there and these things would not be there. These clips are still there. So you would essentially just take your cable, run it up through here, and just plug it into the back. Um, it's that simple. Uh, so, hold, so how to mount it. Mounting is very easy. It comes with a paper template. There's a screw that goes up here behind this. Um, and you just take the unit and just literally just clip it on that, that screw. And then it comes with, you can see there's two more, um, uh, they're nuts with washers, um, but they're, they're threaded bolts pretty much. And you just screw those in there. Um, you, can, you can make this as a plug and play and a, a portable unit if you want to. Um, we're just using just that top, top one in there and uh, the top, top bolt, they're all the same comes with three of those in the box which is very nice um, so it's easy to take off and, and replace if you need to but going back to being the hardwired version you just wouldn't have this nice little cable right here um, so it, it's it's really nice I I like it a lot better than the um, the Ecotality uh, blank unit that I had before um, so let's say you're installing this you put your one on the top you hooked it in, you put your two bolts on the bottom, then slide these cables up in there, clip, 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 clip. You got them done. Um, then after that point, then that's when you want to plug it in. Um, after you see it boot up, everything's good. Then you can go onto your charge point app and turn on your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi from your phone and add this to your charge point account. So let's put this guy back on here real quick.
So after you do that, you just take these little guys and flip them like this. And it's clipped on there. Great. Very simple. Put this cover over the top. It's got little clips right up here at the top so don't break them. Just easily slide it on. Gently push down. And you hear it clip. Piece of cake. So it's a charge point unit. Um, when you buy them, if you buy one, make sure that you look at the at the description because mine, I had bought the unit, and after I bought the unit, I turned around and figured out. I was like, oh, I didn't buy the charge cord with it. Um, that's why it was so cheap. It went through one of those Amazon um, sales, but it's been a great unit. Um, so it's 16 amps, which means it would charge your car at around um, 3,800 watts, 3.8 kilowatt hours, um, your kilowatts per hour, meaning um, it will work on any electric vehicle. It may not charge it as fast as you want it to, but it will charge every electric vehicle out there. Um, even the Tesla, but Tesla will be, again, limited to uh, 16 amps, because that is what um, this cable is is not as thick as a 32 amp cable um, so then uh, you don't want to um, fry this thing but the unit will only allow 16 amps to uh, to come out anyways so yes you can charge a Tesla with it um, Model S, Model X, uh, the impending uh, Model 3 um, every plug-in hybrid and electric vehicle that uses the J1772 handle uh, our connector and uh, yeah it, it will work on all those um, so the next question you probably uh, will have is um, what if I have a, a a higher than a 20 amp plug can I still use this yes because it's only limited to um, 16 amps so you can either modify this cable here or make an adapter to go from the 620p to a um, uh, 1450, um, a welder plug 50 amp or a 30 amp um, dryer plug, whatever you're using. So yes, you can use this with a higher amperage circuit. Just keep in mind you're only going to still be using 16 amps. Um, can you buy a 32 amp charge cord, which is longer? Uh, excuse me, which is thicker? Um, maybe maybe it's the 18 foot version and use it on the 16 amp version yes you can do that um, again you're only limited to 16 amps from the EVSE box here um, would I recommend using the 16 amp cord on the 32 amp unit no um, just to, to help yourself uh, remind yourself at least that you can only charge at that lower rate. You don't want to um, have a safety hazard and, and burn it up. Um, if your vehicle would pull more than than 16 amps of juice, so you can uh, you can use the bigger cables with the smaller one. Um, the unit looks identical. The only difference would be on the inside where you see it says 32 versus 16 amps. Um, it's a great unit. I like Charge Point. Uh, there, there's a lot of stuff here in the DC area that. Um, I use them for um, most of my public charging is is on either charge point or SEMA. Uh, I don't use EVgo much, um, but it's a great unit. It's nice and slim. Um, there's not much really to the unit. It's all it's all plastic everywhere. Um, some of you may not like that. Um, the back of it is a little bit more sturdy. It's just a plastic. Um, coating over metal but this is plastic up here and this is plastic that's all plastic but for a used uh, J1772 cable for 120 some bucks um, I, I did buy the, the charge point one you don't have to buy a charge point cable again you can buy any cable you want for it um, I may be upgrading the cable down the road um, 12 feet really is not long enough because the car parks here 
parks here in my garage and the cable has to go this way and all the way around the front of the car it doesn't really work that well um, so the car has to be almost near the wall since the leaf gets charged in the front but enough of me rambling on uh, if you're looking for a charge point home I, I recommend it it's a, a great great EVSC and uh, give a thumbs up if you like it if you don't Sorry, uh, if you got any questions, comments, you want me to do a follow-on video, I will do so. Um, I may actually do a follow-on video of me plugging in the car and just so you can see the lights and all that stuff. Uh, thanks for watching.